Hi, my name is Helen, and this is my November clock tour. Come and see. Here we go. This is the flower bed. The, some of the plants have got hit by a bit of frost, but they don't look too bad. Obviously, there's nothing in any of the pots along the side that had potatoes in. Of course, there's none now. In here, I've got some cabbage. They are just about surviving, but they could do with growing a bit more and being eaten by the slugs less. Next, these cabbages went in about a month before the others, but I didn't grow these ones from seed, unlike the others. These are winter tundra, and they're doing quite well. I'm quite pleased. Obviously, nothing in the next bed. It's just got wood in it. Here are my leeks. I am still gradually using them, but I'm just picking out the thickest to eat. Okay, I haven't let any of them grow massive, but there's still plenty for my family. So we have them about once a week. Next bed is uh, that was mulched and covered with cardboard. So that's not growing in now. This one's mul partially mulched and covered in cardboard. There's still a bit of chard here. It's getting a bit long and leggy. Um, some of it's still edible. This next bed, this is what's less left of the carrots. Now I've had most of the big ones that are still some carrots here, but they're quite small. So I'll probably be leaving those till maybe February time, give them a chance to get bigger if they're going to. Of course, there is nothing on any of these arches. In here, we have parsnips. Now I have poured three. One was wonky, one was like okay, and one was lovely. And here are my Savoy cabbages. Now I'm surprised any of these survived, considering how decimated they've been got from slugs and stuff. But, you know, that one looks kind of normal. So there might be something edible there. Be, I'll have to peel a lot of the leaves off. This is what happens when you grow nasturgeons. I'm going to be picking out nasturgeon plants forevermore from the beds. Now, this was my broccoli, my calabrese, from earlier on in the year. And I didn't take the plants out, but look, it just keeps producing. And it's, um, let's have a look at the label. Was Partheon F1. So, if you're gonna grow some broccoli, I find it quite good. I don't think I had massive heads, but they just keep going and going and going. This bed, I've made one more plank higher. I've also put a load of sieved bark chippings from there onto here because they had rotted down and then now look like lovely compost. So that bed's ready for her, some vegetables next year. This end part is obviously still a work in progress. This end bed has wood part on it, so nothing growing there. Here are my uh, calettes and my Brussels sprouts. Now, if you look in here carefully, I've actually got 
some Brussels sprouts. And Kaylette's is a bit like a Brussels sprout, but it's open. So we've got some small ones forming there. That should be okay. It's a bit better now that there's less white fly because we've had a frost. They were crawling in it. Over here, we have my pond and my flower bed. Yes, I think there's a few nettles to dig out there, but it's mostly okay. I've got a few leaves to fish out, but apart from that, that's okay. These sad plants are my, I think it's purple sprite and broccoli. They haven't done great, but they're not at the point where they're reducing the fluets yet. I've got to take off those lower leaves. But I have put more of the sieved bark chippings in the bottom here. On this side is my kale. So plenty of that. That doesn't mind this cold weather. This next bed, this is my garlic. So that's come up well. As you can see there, I need to weed the little seedlings that have come up out the compost before they overtake everything. That's the um, cage that was up the end. That will eventually become a bug hotel, or I guess at the height of it, a bug skyscraper. But I haven't decided on a location for it yet. This next bed is the onions and the shallots, and they're starting to come up. So I'm happy with that. We've still got a few calendula at the end in flower. Now this is my sad, sad strawberry bed. I need to rip those all out this winter, um, put a load more soil, or sieved uh, bark chippings from the path into here to build it up. And then I have two choices. I can either make all these three beds, strawberry beds from this middle one and number them so I know which is year one, year two, year three. Or because I've got so many strawberry plants at home, I could have a different type of strawberry in each bed. But then I won't know how old the plants are. So I'm not sure yet. This bed was the bed I planted up in spring with strawberry plants. And the runners have gone nuts, so I've got a bit of weeding to do. A little bit of maintenance, but not too bad. Again, we have lovely calendula. Despite the frost, it's not looking too bad. So, a bit like the nasturtiums, I'll be picking them out forever. Over here, we have some garlic that I missed last year, which I think is germidor. And we have some sweet. So I've got that. Some wet times where I've multi sown, they're a bit smaller. Or over here, there is a couple next to each other. I can't get a decent shot, shot of it. Aha, there. So that's doing okay. Next, we have the tay berries. I finally pruned them, tied them into one side. My thoughts is next year, with them just being tied into the right hand side, I can put all the new shoots it throws up and tie them into this side so that I know, well, so that hopefully it's easier to control. Here we have the gooseberry plants, the cherry tree, the currants. In this pot there was a kiwi that I have never planted out. The poor thing gets neglected. 
uh, and it still survives. But given how much growth you get from a kiwi plant, it's supposed to be self-fertile. Um, I don't know if it's a bit just too much for the plot. Over here are my autumn raspberries. So they're okay, I've mulched it with leaves. There's a couple of blueberry plants over in that pot. And here is my summer raspberries all tied in. I've already pruned the uh, growth from this, you know, and what fruited this year. And lastly, this is turning into a bit of a dumping ground. There is a path under there. <laughs> And then that's where my red currants are. I think I'm going to rip those out this year because I just don't eat them. And of course, this part of the shed hasn't been painted. And last night, it got down to minus 3.1. So thank you for watching my plot tour. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you can Tink around on your plot even though it's winter. Have fun. Bye.